Hello and welcome back to Lord Fett Gaming Plays Ultima 3 Exodus. I'm your host Lord Fett. In this uh, fourth episode of Ultima 3 Exodus for the PC slash MS DOS, what we're going to be uh, doing is gather last set of information. And there goes my ship. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget no case bells will be updated and much more. Here's the things what we do in this video, also what I did off screen in between episodes. First of all, I lost my ship. Thanks to that whirlpool happened before I actually filmed. I got myself 1,800 food, character levels are 8, and we're still at 250 hit points. That means we're still level 2 technically. Now, places where we're going to is Castle Bridge to get our characters to level 5. I'll explain more on why we'll be stuck there. We're going to go to Devil Guard next, followed by Fawn. We're going to look for another ship, so this might take a while off screen, but still... I'll skip all that nonsense, and finally, we're going to you. Yeah, we're going to get something from uh, Fawn and then use it at you. No, we're not going to kill clerics there, so let's go in and get our level. I'm going to go ahead and visit Lord British, so here's the deal. I'm going to give this uh, advice to new people or anybody want a refresher. Anytime you get 100 experience points, you uh, get to uh, level up. You gain 100 hit points when you do that. Now, the problem is it's cap at 5, but I'll tell you why in a few seconds. So, speak with our uh, Lord here. He'll say, welcome, my child, though, Art Greater. So, you see, we're leveling him uh, up our uh, character, Ruby. And we'll do it one more time. It says, welcome, my child, seek ye the mark of kings. In other words, we're stuck at 5. No mark of kings on the character. And that means uh, no level up. So, we will have to seek that somewhere. And we're going to need to get that information you uh, guess it in Devil Guard. Yep, that's the location we'll learn about the uh, marks today. So we're going to level up all our characters. Then we're going to go ahead and find a moon gate. Wait, you're sec say, wait a second, Lord Fed. Why a moon gate? Why have to go through that? I went through that in Ultima Online. Okay, most of you did not. I did. But anyways, moon gates will take you to different places. You have to uh, time them just right and figure them all out. It's not easy. It's really confusing. That is the downside. Upside is, is uh, yeah, you get to places that you normally could not get to in some instances. So we're going to go towards uh, Motor Towns. Yeah, both of them. Once we arrive, then we're going to go west. And the moon gate should be there. See, there it is. Follow the uh, water uh, from the uh, area I'm going to. Just be careful. Watch out for uh, Man of Wars and just wait. There's that annoying whirlpool. Yeah, it destroyed both of my ships. I kind of did deserve it, though. I will admit, I killed some clerics in you. For a golden experience point. So anyways, this is a waiting game. Uh, if you want to, if you're on the PC, match that space bar to pass time like crazy. Me, I'm just taking my time a little bit before uh, going on in. I'm looking for, if I remember, I think it's uh, year 1-3 or 3-1. And I'll uh, get our destination. Or at least I'll show you one of the destinations. Okay, no, it's 3-1. The uh, destination I'm show you all is the Dungeon of Fire. Great place to gain gold since level 1. It's full of weak foes, and let's go ahead and wait a few more seconds, and voila! Any second it should appear, I'm looking for is 3-1. 3-1 uh, will get you, you uh, guess it, which is uh, from uh, west of Motor West to the Dungeon of the Snake. Great place to get some gold. I am dead serious. So we're going to go ahead and wait again. As soon as I get the coordinates, I'll uh, tell everybody which one they are. And let me uh, see. Just a few more. Come on, you could do it. I think we have to wait for another one. And it's taking its time. Yeah, this is a waiting game. I'm mashing the space bar to get past it. There, 1-3. Uh, From 1-3, uh, that'll get to the other place. I'm doing 1-4 instead. Now, 1-4 will get you from the Dungeon of the Snake to Inland. That's like a closed-off area. That'll get you to other places. It's a great way to actually uh, go from uh, some places you can't get to. So, remember that. Now we're at Inland, so... We're going to go ahead and heal up and just wait again for another set of coordinates. Hopefully this is it. 2-6 uh, will actually get you somewhere else. Yeah, and that is uh, Devil Guard. So we have finally arrived. It took us a while of uh, timing the Moon Gates to do so. It is like that, by the way, in Ultima Online in the old days. Now, uh, today's Ultima Online, you get to select the place where, where you want to go to. Kind of defeats the purpose of the uh, waiting for the Moon Gates, but... I guess modern gamers today, some of them didn't like that idea. Well, they would not like Ultima 2 since you had to time those moon gates to go through uh, areas and timers. 
Oh, wow. I am facing a lot of uh, Orc Emnies. Uh, let's see if I can cast that spell. All right. It just kicked in most of it. Now, I cannot wait for the Undead ones. I hope I could get some to show you in this series how that works with clerics. Unfortunately, I am struggling out on that. I've been getting them off screen, but one day I hope I show you it. At least it'll be at the Dungeon of the Snakes. So let me go ahead and just get some free loot. Once we uh, get out of this uh, area, we'll be in uh, Devil Guard to get some clues. This is very important. We're in Devil Guard. This will tell us about Marks, plus their location too. I believe I missed uh, one of the uh, important clues. I'll uh, definitely uh, put that in towards the end of the video. But for now, I'll go ahead and speak with everybody. Okay, gestures are friendly here at Devil Guard. That's good. Same thing with the guards too. Yeah, this is a very secluded place, so I believe it was not in the uh, latter Ultima games because of that, but still. It's actually uh, pretty nice, though. I love navigating. It's very easy to navigate through. Ah, oh, there's a guard. You're friendly. I like that. And there's you. What's up, bub? Okay, you just say good day. That's all right. And we found the Thieves' Guild. This is where you uh, get to buy your keys, your torches, your powders, and your gems. For those of you who are new here. And by the way, welcome to the channel. Enjoy your stay. So let's uh, go ahead and check that out. I'm going to get some gems too. At least leave two of them. You're asking why is that? Down in the future, I'm going to go ahead and use them in certain uh, places. Kind of like a mapping system. Hopefully it works that way. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, talk to this guy. Okay, okay. He just moved away. He's kind of quick. Okay, good day to you too. Very friendly people. I need information. Okay, same thing as the other guy. Let's check these two out. They're all fighters here, I noticed. The king favors a mark. Well, that was already given to me when I was level 5, which is the mark of the kings. We need to find that. A mark helps invoke the snake. So we're going to need to look for a mark that, that invokes the snake. And where you know that there's a mark of a snake. So put two and two together. You need a mark of a snake in order to uh, invoke the uh, snake. Which is the silver servant, I believe. So let's talk to uh, this guy here. Okay, good day to you too. More friendly people. Ah, oh, come on guard, get out of the way. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, get some clues. It's very important. Let's uh, check the open up behind there. Let's see here. Okay, it's the same guy. It says good day to you too. I might talk to him again. Let's see. Nope. And let's uh, check this guy in the grass. All chilling. Seek ye the dungeon of fire. I guess that's where the mark of the fire is at. That's my guess. So, I'm going to go ahead and confirm this uh, now because of that. It sounds like the marks are in dungeons. In other words, they're making you do dungeons this time. And that's the stables. It costs 800 pieces of gold to get a horse. I'm going to give everybody advice on that. Don't do it. It's too much gold. Let's talk to this guy. Mark thee well. Okay, in other words, he's giving us a hint. Go find the marks. And yeah, the uh, clue that I uh, didn't get, I might have missed the NPC, was his... The marks are in dungeons. Well, kind of, that was kind of obvious when the guy says, uh, seek the dungeon of fire. And then when the, I think it was the Oracle or someone else says there's four marks. Yeah, those are the uh, reasons. So we are done with uh, this uh, Devil Guard. Now we're going to go back into the mainland. So this might take a while of navigation and such. And yeah, 6-2, uh, that few led you uh, in inland. I messed up on a few uh, travels, actually. <laughs> You uh, guessed it went back to Devil Guard uh, Valley. Big ol' whoops on my part, but still. It takes a bit to uh, master the Moon Gates. Once you do, you go to the places that you definitely need to go to. I accidentally uh, found out one time off screen when I returned to uh, Devil Guard was to uh, was, a, was a dungeon. I think that dungeon is like isolated. Looks like it's surrounded by mountains. Looks like it was very important. Maybe that's going to be the last dungeon I uh, definitely hit. I'm not going to hit all the dungeons in the game because I heard uh, some of them repeat with marks. Instead, I'm going to make sure I at least uh, minimize that at least. So uh, this way I'll get through the game a lot quicker. Now I'm just waiting for a certain uh, moon gate. I think it's a different number. So let's see here. I don't think it's 2-6. Bad ideal. So let's uh, just wait. That's just uh, one. Just come on. Keep on going. Keep on moving. I'm just mashing the keyboard at this time. And let's see here, one four, that's not it. Let's uh, go ahead and try two six. We'll wait a bit to two seven or uh, two zero. Yeah, two zero will lead you back, you guessed it, inland to, I think it's south uh, east of Montar. 
Now, here's the uh, deal. We're going to try to get the Fawn. Uh, bad news is Fawn is on a island. You're going to need a ship. Since I lost two of my ships thanks to uh, not one but two whirlpools, I'm going to try to attempt to uh, get them. I'm going to say this now. It's very hard to do. I would advise if you're having problems with getting a ship, go find a location to farm gold or experience points or both. You go to you or better yet to the Dungeon of Fire and start that process. So I'm going to go skip this part to get this ship. Now I am back. It took me quite a bit. Yeah, you notice the huge level change and the food supply being really up there. Well, thanks to uh, RNG uh, giving me the middle finger, because of that, uh, the ship took a while to uh, get. Exactly two to three hours. However, within two to three hours, my uh, character levels are uh, 14, all of them. So we're going to get this ship, get to Fawn, and after that I'll talk about ship navigation. And why it's painful in this game compared to the other two Ultima games. I uh, played on this uh, channel. So we're going to finish uh, off these uh, pirate fools. Or I should say thieves or cutthroats or whatever they are. They're all dead either way. I'm going to just say this reminder. In order to get a ship, you need to uh, go ahead and confront it. Uh, win the combat and the ship is yours. problem with the ship is, is uh, it's navigation. So if you try to go a certain direction, you cannot. The wind will stop you there. If it's calm winds, you cannot move. Now here's another dangerous factor, which is uh, uh, worse than uh, the wind. Uh, the uh, whirlpools. If you're not ready to uh, go use the whirlpools, I guess, because there's a clue in moon I forgot to mention. Well, uh, you're going to be stuck somewhere else, it sounds like. Since the guy says, I went to a whirlpool, and I think he returned from it. And also, if you notice the treasure chest is lying around, well, I was trying to do is uh, have so much of them and so uh, this way I can spawn the ship more often. Yeah, that was a uh, whirlpool. We're going to avoid that. I'm going to try to do is get to the north part of the map and hopefully head to uh, Fawn without hitting the whirlpool. If I hit it, that is not a good sign. So let's go uh, this direction. Just keep on going. And oh, come on. Wind. Calm winds. That's just uh, great. Yeah, make it go uh, other direction than west. There we go. We're almost uh, there. And there is the uh, town of Fawn. Now, reason being we're going to Fawn, well, there's a command we're going to learn and we're going to gather some very important information. We have finally arrived in Fawn. Let's talk to this guard. He looks like he's a little bit offbeat. Good day to you too. How's it going, buddy? Good day also. Welcome to Fawn. Let's talk to this uh, wizard. Uh, see, welcome to Fawn, city of the sea. Okay, that's not important, but... That's an official welcome to the town, so I'll just uh, leave that there. Let's uh, go ahead and talk to this uh, guy. Good day. Okay. A bunch of friendly people. I'm not going to leave here until I get the uh, prey command. Yeah, I tried my potato PC. It took a while to find the NPC for it. Uh, this guy just says good day. Okay. Everybody's friendly here. That's good. Just like Devil Guard. It's not like the ones in gray. A whole bunch of drunks and mean people. That's all I got to say. Let's see here. Okay, this is Tool of uh, Trade. And I, th yeah, this is like a thieves shop. Keys, torches, powders, and gems. I can see why uh, people definitely uh, like to go here instead of the uh, other one. It's uh, isolated and it's real good. That's how I feel. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, check there by Yeltz. Uh, it's a guard and there's two uh, characters. Invoke the Silver Snake. Okay, we learned a command called invoke. That is good. So I'll uh, make sure I write that down. Use time steps in order to get invoke. So that's an important clue. We learned something new. That's a canteen. And that's where you uh, get a drink. You know what? Let's go ahead and get a little bit drunk, shall we? And just uh, pay the seven and be on our way. This is not like Ultima 1 where you get drunk and lose your wisdom score. I think by five. If the uh, bar winch uh, catches you. Uh, here's another clue. To pass, you need a mark. Okay, that's kind of known, which is a good thing. So, yeah, that's another good clue. Let's go ahead and look for uh, more clues before I do uh, leave this nice uh, town by the sea. Or I should say island town. So, let's uh, go ahead and check this direction. Let's, uh, hopefully, I find uh, more of this uh, clues and the pray command. Let's uh, see here. I think I already talked to uh, that priest or that cleric. Might be wrong. If so, I'll backtrack. Let's see what's in this shop. Okay, uh, it's a 
that's the food shop where you know that. That's a canteen. Uh, so we'll uh, go ahead and void it. I'm just trying to read my notes. Uh, notes say I should explore some more of uh, Fawn. Uh, that's a guard. That's someone there. Oh, wait, wait. Let's see if I can talk to this person. And no, that's a friendly uh, person. That's good. Let's check behind. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, there's someone else that's there. Look like there's another island I uh, missed. Yeah, you just want to be thorough for uh, this town because I'm going to be blunt. You're going to only come here once. And that's for the uh, two commands. Once you invo invoke. And the other one is pray. All right, talk to that uh, cleric in the grass. So let's uh, keep on going this way. Let's talk to this fighter. Uh, friendly. That's the sign, welcoming sign. That's all right. And there's you two uh, thieves. Let's try to talk to one of you. Uh, friendly thief. I better check my pockets later. And the other one. Okay, another good day to you too. And this uh, cleric. Fawn is a nice place. Okay, that's good to know, but that's not important. So let's uh, keep on going. And hopefully I could uh, find the uh, pray command. Now, for those of you who uh, doesn't want to see me go explore thoroughly, I left timestamps so this way. We'll just let you get to the point. All right, there's a cleric. And pray for invocation. Okay, we got the pray command. So you hit O, and then it says uh, CMD. At that point, you type in pray. You know what? We're going to go to you for that, because the you, people you keep on saying, you could pray here, pray here. Well, there's one spot I actually felt that you could pray there. We'll uh, get to it when it's time, so I'm going to check the provisions. Okay, that's where you buy your food. The canteen must have been the place where you get drunk. Either way, we're done here. Now, if I miss anything, I'll uh, definitely uh, go off screen, go over it. I believe I did that uh, for this place, too. Something important. No, it was Devil Guard for that. And Moon. So, quickly get on your ship. Uh, go to, uh, south of Fawn. Run south, and there is uh, you. So, let's go there now. We're inside of you, and we're, where we're going to go is the actual place called the Circle of Light. So, from there... As uh, you go south to this cleric, yeah, you go south here, and then uh, there will be a place with a cross, and then you go uh, east of it, and uh, there will be a whole bunch of fire circles, and of course the uh, a circle in the middle where you want to uh, go. Yeah, it's just telling you to pray in another language or so. So we'll keep on going, just keep at it, and there, oh, whoa, whoa, actually went through. Everybody lost 50 hit points. That's why fire is dangerous. So at the center, you hit a O, you hit who action, we use number three, and then hit the type of words pray. And then you learn the uh, words yell and evo care. Once that happens, so I guess uh, you pass it or something like that, or uh, something happens somewhere else. That's very important to me either way. I'm going to put that down for you. And there you go. So what we're going to do is uh, get to a stopping point area, talk about what we found today, then a nice recap. Here's the clues for Devil Guard and one moon clue I missed, which I did get off screen. I've been beyond the whirlpool. That's a the moon clue I've definitely missed. That means uh, if I go to the whirlpool, guess what happens? It looks like I go somewhere else. Now, here's the Devil Guard clues. The king favors a mark. That's We already knew. The king uh, actually asked for a mark of the kings. Once you have that, you can level up beyond uh, five. A mark helps invoke the snake. And that's good to know. It's a special mark we need to uh, deal with some snake. Most likely a silver serpent we uh, heard about once or twice. Seek ye the dungeon of fire. Yeah, it sounds like we have to go to a dungeon. Yeah, we'll get to that in a few moments. Horses sold at Devil Guard. Okay, so if you need to buy a horse at Devil Guard, go ahead and do so. There are 800 gold pieces. I advise against it. Mark the well. That must be talking about the marks. Another mark clue I missed. I went back off screen. Hot metal leaves a mark. So as soon as we uh, find some kind of metal thing or something like that, that's where we get our mark. Marks gain in dungeons. So we have to go actually go dungeon hunting. It's not like Ultima 2, the uh, PC version, where you can skip dungeons. This time, it's mandatory. So let's get to fawn clues. Here are four clues in fawn. I went back off screen to recheck uh, one of them again since one of the NPCs was cluttered up. So anyways, here's the first uh, clue. Invoke the silver snake. That must be talking about the silver serpent. 
Next up is uh, to patch, you need a mark. So I'm guessing we're going to need a mark of fire and mark of uh, force field to get past a force field and fire. So that's a good one. Once we get a mark of fire, we get to talk that gesture and also mark of force field. Uh, next up, we learn a new command, pray, for the invocation. Also, with the uh, pray command we learned too, is pray in the circle of light. There's only one place for that, that is you. So let's go ahead and talk about how to get a certain uh, word in you. Thanks to the last clue I uh, actually uh, went off screen to uh, get. In order to get a special word in you, here's how it is done. In you, go to the southeast part of the town, then in the center of the circle of light. That's the uh, area that's uh, full of fire. It's like almost in a circle. Just avoid the fire. Once you're at the uh, center of the circle of light, you want to pray. Once you pray, you will learn the words Evo Care. That's very important. I will definitely uh, put that up there sometime uh, in this walkthrough. Yeah, you're going to see the words there, and then you know when to use it. That's it for all the clues for this video, so let's go ahead and do a nice recap. First thing I did was navigate through the moon gates in order to get to Devil Guard. Once I was in Devil Guard, I went and got most of the clues, even wrote down some I did miss too, including the uh, moon one. And most of them were about the marks. The moon clue was about the uh, whirlpool, that someone actually survived it. So I guess it takes you somewhere else. Good to uh, know. After uh, Devil Guard, then I uh, found a ship off screen. Show you all on ha what happens when you capture a ship. Survive the sailing uh, to a uh, fawn. Once I got the fawn, learn the invoke. And also I learn the pray command. Uh, with the pray command, I went to you since that was uh, natural to uh, go there to find the circle of light. Pray the circle of light at the center of it to get the evo care. Yes, it looks like it's a password or something. Well, everyone, this is it for my Ultimate 3 Exodus PC slash MS DOS walkthrough part 4 Devil Guard font and you video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern gaming content just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or you two suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and do please stay safe.